What's up fellow gamers, today we're diving into chapter 5 of Chernobyl Origins. If you're anything like me, you've been on the edge of your seat since the last chapter, wondering what kind of trouble we're gonna get into next. Last time we were attacked by mutants and I got to witness some seriously funky stuff, anomalies, and I also had to fight our way through to the next level. Honestly, I'm still picking pieces of mutant fur out of my teeth. But I'm not one to back down from a challenge, so I'm ready to take on whatever this game throws at me next. Um, so I'm hoping I will finally get some answers to all these burning questions. Who is this Makarov guy really? Is he bad or good? And why is everyone so eager to find him? And can we please get some more of this sleep for gas up in here? Those mutants are no joke. Alright, so... This guy is called Hold Me Captive. But it just mean him left. The rest of the team got, got ate up by mutants. So let's see what he has to say. Them mutants, they need to get out of right now. How is everything not at the right time? We lost the whole squad. Only you and I were left alive. Well, there's nothing to do. We'll, I'll have to rely on you regardless of the situation. The task must be completed. Do you find something out? The door is de-energized. You need to restore the electricity supply to get inside. Okay. So we need to turn this, uh, turn the electricity on somehow. The door to Saharov's office. <laughs> door is locked, of course. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, yeah, we got this. Oh, it's an anomaly. Okay, okay. So what can we do? Use the item. I don't, I don't think I have anything, right? All right, let's go ahead and try to enter this. Oh boy. Aha. Cool. The terminal is de-energized, energized, so we gotta turn this guy on as well. Ducks. To make a control jump, it's necessary to create a bridge between two anomalies. For this, it is necessary to create an extract from the particles of the entry and exit anomalies, and then spray it on the entry anomaly. Important, the extract is prepared directly for two specific anomalies. If you apply to the wrong anomaly, the exit point will be unpredictable. Not good. Let's leave. Okay. Uh, let's keep going, I guess. Oh boy, what is this? What is all this? An old one safe. Inspect. Okay, so we have a code, right? We don't freaking know what it is. Uh, let me pause this video and let me do some thinking and see if I can come up with something. Okay, so this no it didn't make sense to me. Like what seven eight five one? There's nothing in here. Like no difference between these numbers. None of them adding up. None of them subtracting. Equal to two or this one is one. The only thing I can think of is like seven eight. That's one. Then we got three and we got four. Uh, and it still like just didn't make sense to me. Anyway, it's a number of freaking circles. One two, two circles. See, there are no other circles in these numbers. And this one has only one because there's only one circle here. So, 8691, um, so that's, that's four, right, it's four, then um, that's one, two circles, and then we have one, two, three, four, five circles, then we have zero in this one. So the code is four, two, five, zero, ba -bam. and there's a flask of gas in safe. Actually, I haven't took it yet, so... Okay, so we got some kind of mixture, um, and that's all we can do here. They got some dots, I took a screenshot of this, I'm not sure what that's for yet. I tried to use it as this puzzle, the first, but I don't think that's related. So it's gotta, do, it's gotta mean something too. So let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh. You spray gas on the anomaly, it expands dramatically, flickers and immediately calms down. Oh boy, what did I just do? Damn it! Okay, do not spray that on that one! Do not spray that! Okay, okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so do not spray. Uh, maybe some of them you have to spray, some of them don't. I, I don't know. Electric shield. Use the item. <laughs> it won't do anything. Okay, so we can't do anything here right now. Um, let's keep moving. Let's not spray it. Okay, we got another save. A save with a combination locked. Okay, okay, so... What do we got? We have a Russian alphabet. Um, okay, I don't see anything special about this yet. Um, we have two letters here. 
Oh, I bet I know what that is. I bet it's the position numbers of these two letters will equal to safe's combination. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, um, eighteen, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So, twenty-seven, and then um, twenty-six. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. 27, 21. 27 position, 21 position. 27, shit. 27, 21. Aha! There is a box with jumpers in the safe. We got some kind of jumpers. What the hell do we need jumpers for? Okay, let's try to keep going. So we got some kind of gas. We have a... um. Jumper cables. Okay. Um. All right. I'm not gonna read the soul. Uh, you guys can pause the game and read it. I'm just gonna show it off anyway, and I'm gonna read it myself. But I'm gonna pause the game so you should save everybody time. Ah, I can figure. I can just read it. Research is going too slowly. The state program does not provide the necessary capacity. There are too many prohibitions. It is allowed to work only with low radiation, but this is not enough. So you will not make a breakthrough. The bright future is still too far away. Folder of documents. And ship two. I began to conduct my research in secret from the management and achieved greater results than the entire state project. I have obtained the exper an experimental drug that enhances living organisms giving them high regenerative abilities. The first trial will be conducted on the volunteer patient with stage 4 cancer. He didn't have long to live and he courageously decided to sacrifice himself for the sake of the science. There were changes in his senses and vision. The subject began to hear and see several times better than ordinary person. There is also a significant increase in muscle mass. Here it is, exactly the very future that we wanted to achieve so much is if everything goes on like this, then we'll be able to treat any diseases, not even that, we will get over people who will become the next round of evolution. Uh, at night the subject became much worse, he died a terrible agony. Upon autopsy, tumors were found everywhere, I can't refine the medicine in such conditions, I need more radiation. I need more test subjects. I need a larger sample. To achieve something, you need to sacrifice something. My goodness. Uh, to open the safe, you need to place all the switches horizontally. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's the safe? Oh, maybe this is the safe. I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we gotta place all the switches horizontally. Um... Okay. What the heck? They all freaking turn. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of algorithm that you flip one switch and the first row and the first column it's adjacent to, or just not the first row, but the first the column and the row it's adjacent to uh, turns as well to the opposite position. So let me spend some time mess with this. Okay, I spent some time on this. I can't really figure this out. I had to cheat. I had to get on Steam and, you know, there was somebody posted like a little guide for this already. Um, so what you have to do is you have to remember all the vertical lines first, right? And you have to click them. It doesn't matter what position it starts in. So let's try to make all the lines, <laughs> as many lines as I can horizontal. Um, so we have less vertical stuff. Looks like this is, this is really the best we can do here. Okay, so this four and this three. And we gotta push one of them, no matter how they switch, so... Okay, now we have to push verticals again. So we got all this, uh, all this nine here. No, ten, I'm sorry, ten.
Holy crap, that worked. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. There's a piece of paper with the code in the safe. 8565. 8565. Okay. 8565. Oh. I bet um, that's the code for that save that's not on, right? There's no any uh, power to it. All right. So we got that code, and uh, I guess let's keep going. <laughs> okay, maybe I have to spray that gas on this one. All right, so the new code is uh, 4834. Looks like that's the only code that changed. Everything else stayed the same. So let's see if we can spray this. Oh, what about jumpers? No, it won't do anything. Okay, uh, flask of gas, yes. It expands dramatically, flickers, and immediately calms down. Okay, let's see what that does. Will that kill me again? Yes, I'm back here, buddy. He's not... He's not, he hasn't found anything new yet, so, um, let's see if we can power the, um, power on the power. <laughs> Turn the power on somehow. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do anything here yet. Same here, we gotta keep going. Okay, here maybe? Maybe the jumper cables? Electric shield. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hang on a second. Um, oh, you know what I bet this is? This is where the dots were, right? In that green wall. So, I have a screenshot of that on my second screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Uh, so, there's one dot in here, and let's keep, skip one. Then there are two dots here. And let's skip one, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, then let's keep one again, and two on the top and the bottom. The last one. The power supply has been restored. Great. Okay, what does that mean now? Do I need to go back again, right? To the door? Uh, so let's say we've been here. Um. Let's spray with this with this ga the gas again, just in case. Oh no, I'm probably dead, I'm probably dead. Oh no, I didn't, so I had to only spray it once. Okay, that's good to know, I don't have to do it twice. Um, okay, the power is on, but the door is locked, great. Okay, this bad boy is on now, fantastic. And we do have the new code, which is... Which is 4834. Bang. Uh, okay. Lock the door to the office. Unlock the door to the office. We want to unlock it. The door is unlocked. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go and... <laughs> let's go back to the office. Alright, let's see if this works now. Uh, well, let's see if he's got anything new. No, same old, same thing old, yeah. Aha! Okay, so now we're at Sarah's office here. Uh, it is 1020. Um, can you bother me? Okay, let's see. I need to find the code from Terminal. We have to find out where Sarah went. By the way, I found a notebook with a drawing of the sun and moon. Maybe this is the key. Sun and the moon. Sun and the moon. Okay. We have sun and the moon. Sun and the moon. Uh, <clears throat> sun, one, two, three. We got three characters. Moon's got four. Three, four. No, that doesn't. That's not doing anything. Um, huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's ten freaking twenty. No. Sun and the moon. Maybe time. Times sun comes out, and times sunset. But then it's probably can be because the sun, you know, comes up in different times every day. Um. Found a notebook with drawing of the sun and moon. Maybe it's three zero and four zero, thirty forty. Or maybe it's or three or four. 
my goodness. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe um <clears throat> maybe the and if you guys are watching this, that means I sold it. Uh maybe the sun and the day. I mean sun means just day and moon means just night. So maybe day is 1020 and the night is 2220. Oh my god. You have done a very good job, comrade. The motherland will not forget your merits. I will personally speak in your defense, but first we will deal with Saharov. Let's see if there's a clue in his notes about where he might have gone. There's a lot of interesting information here. Our smart guys will really like it, but this is not what we're looking for. Well, this is interesting. If we proceed from these records, when our dear friend has recently been intensively engaged in the study of the jump anomaly, he pretty much succeeded in this. With her help, he sneaked out of the basement of the MRC. And he sent you to us, hoping that we would immediately, without any questions, put you against the wall. The bastard thought he would cut the thread leading to him, but it turned out otherwise. I'll check the last entry. He was here just half an hour before we came across a pack of mutants. Holy shit, this is really bad. He completely crazy. He, This can be happening. We're moving out. There is no time left at all. Saharkov planned to blow up the rest of the NPP units. I hope you missed the nuclear power plant because we're going to, we're going there. We have a date with Sahar, Sarakov there. And he has a date with 9 grams of lead. And we'll make sure he shows up for it. Okay. Great. Oh my god, this is the end of the chapter, isn't it? Find the entrance to Zaharov's lair. There you found out that he plans to blow up the remaining nuclear power plant units. Without wasting time, you and Makarov set off on a journey. We need to catch up with Zaharov before he opens Pandora's box. Fate played a cruel joke, returning you to where it all started. Saving his life, it was possible to predict such a turn of events. Well guys, this is it for chapter 5. We have one chapter left. One chapter till we finish this whole game. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic gaming adventures like this one.